people company you want to talk all your cash money and you want to go after these people what ends up happening they start the smear campaign because they own they down with the media they got to smear you before you go into the courtroom of your peers they go okay you we can't settle with this dude we can't we don't have no voice of reason he want to act crazy now we're going to go after you now we're going to call up our same senator. Hey, man, I need you to, man, go issue a search warrant, man. I need you to drag this mother. In the hood, that's what we call. I want you to drag this. I want you to have all kind of allegations. So by the time he come in this courtroom, he going to wish he ain't know. We're going to take every fucking dime you got. Because we made you. Because we made you. Because we made you. Family, welcome back. Thank you all for being here. If you like this channel, you guys, let me know. Hit the thumbs up button. Um, if you love it, just I go ahead and become you. a part of the channel. Hit notification bell all. You'll get everything I drop. If you haven't been getting anything, try unsub, resub, notification bell all. Listen, <clears throat> we're going to learn about biting the hand that feeds you. We are, I think I might go wireless, y'all. We are going to learn about... When someone makes you, allegedly they can break you. We're gonna learn about stepping out of line. Listen, the things that we talk about do not take away from the wrongdoings of this individual, the alleged wrongdoings. Um, from what we think we know or what we do know, it's all alleged. It's off a of fair use commentary and, you know, educational purposes with a bit of satire. Yeah, it's all for comedy. Anyway, um, there are things you can do to trigger to trigger a certain sect of people, especially when you've accumulated billions of dollars with these people to the point where you could step out of what you started from into a whole nother thing and excel um <clears throat> i never really got too far into his dealings with this liquor company but it came to my attention when there was a a, a certain type of lawsuit brought about but something i want to speak of and i feel like oh it, it's it's weird you guys like just look at the simple signs and i'm writing something down writing down targeted this is why um now notorious big's first release came out on a day of the raids bad boys movie premiere came out the day of the raids and then the raids that's a bad boy weekend y'all that's a bad boy day that's a bad boy whatever you want to call it i just found that rather interesting um get ready for the month of or, um august april do you guys find it interesting that uh the year of Aquarius or age of Aquarius and things like that and the eclipse and all of these things that are coming out with a lot of people not just but a lot of people I don't know a part of me says it's not a coincidence anyway I want to get into the story you guys we're going to do like a real rough timeline um, Diddy Sue's liquor giant 
Diageo or whatever you want to call it for unlawful retaliation. Now, you cannot call out the people crazy. that are making you allegedly you, in my eyes for educational purposes only um let's check this out but it says this is um obsessed daily beast shout out to them let's give them their proper credit um and the lawsuit filed on friday and this was of october 29th 2023 the singer said Diageo or whatever has done all it can to retaliate against him, including blackballing him from the spirits industry. I am so overjoyed that they use that word. A lot of people don't take that into account when they mix certain liquids with their own spirit. Now, when you go to certain stores or whatever, like they just said, wine and spirits are spirits. Spirits, not just wine, but spirits. Your drunk words, your sober thoughts. A drunk mouth always tells the truth, whatever they say. Or people get real out of character when they drink. They get all oh, hyper emotional or just wild. Pay attention to that spirits part. Anyway, uh, it reads, Sean Diddy Combs is accusing liquor giant of unlawful retaliation after the company ended their business relationship over a lawsuit Diddy filed a pattern of racial discrimination. That's according to a new lawsuit filed in New York Supreme Court on Friday and obtained by the Daily Beast. <clears throat> That's who we're um, using their article right now. In his lawsuit, Combs says he is facing unlawful retaliation by a powerful international corporation after Diageo announced that in June, that it was ending a 15 year partnership. <clears throat> Excuse me. 15 years. Boy, they let you eat. Mm. That decision came after Combs sued the company in May, alleging he had been racially discriminated against and that the company had left his Ciroc vodka and De Leon tequilas. He let, they left him behind in favor of others. Why didn't your homeboys and everybody you had FOs help you put... Oh, well, they did. Mm. Anyway, it continues to read. The new suit contains fresh allegations from Diddy, including that the brand done all it could to retaliate against him and his company, including blackballing Mr. Combs and the spirits industry. They haven't done all they could do because fast forward to last Monday or this past Monday, shit got real. Period. While he's sitting there thinking they've done all they can. Yeah, all right. You will get broke. Well, he's about to. He's, he's being broken right now. Point blank, period. They're sitting him on the lap, giving him old fashioned spanking pause. No ditty. Now, <clears throat> quote, unquote, quote. Diageo has instructed distributors and retailers of De Leon not to talk to Mr. Combs about his brands. With its massive power in the industry, it's doing everything it can do to send a message, not only to Mr. Combs, but to others like him. Speak up and you will be punished. But that's something that we already know when you're dealing with the belly of the beast. It's just not, a, it's, it's, only, it's only a problem when it happens to somebody, period. He doing it to rappers and this and that, it wasn't a problem. Taking publishing and rights and residuals and putting them in his kids, parents and all that shit name, it wasn't a problem. But now it's a problem. In an affidavit filed alongside the new suit, Robert T. Chen, head of spirits 
at Combs Wine and Spirits said that after filing the suit against Diageo in May, Combs was iced out of marketing of the marketing process for De Leon. What do you expect? Period. What do you expect? It's like, come on, man. It's almost a conflict event. That's exactly what it is, actually. Get out of here. If we did this, here, let us help you out and get you the fuck out of here. <coughs> I have some tuna. I feel like something's in my throat. Pause. No, did he? Anyway, um, the representatives began canceling meetings and failing to timely respond to communications written by Combs representatives, which was out of the norm. Oh, I bet it was. That was their do boy. Mm, mm, mm. A spokesperson from Diageo told Daily Beast, this is yet another attempt by Mr. Combs to extract funds after the organization has invested tens of millions of dollars in the marketing and development of De Leon. In contrast, Mr. Combs' total investment of one thousand dollars. Wow, we're disappointed that Mr. Combs continues to try to damage the brand. Did he? buy into the company <clears throat> for a thousand bucks or did he invest only one thousand bucks into marketing and development wow wow i'm sure some of them workers cost more than that wow now <clears throat> let's see if we can find anything else that is significant. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Combs crazy. alleged that Stephen Russ, Diageo's president I of Reserve you, and New Business, told him in 2019 that Combs' race was the reason the company limited the neighborhoods where the products were sold. And if Mr. Combs were Martha Stewart, it would be different according to the suit. Now he's throwing, yeah, he's totally messing up. Totally. And I'm still not going to look more or deeper into this situation. Um, if he was Martha Stewart, it would be different. Hmm. Diageo denied the, claim, denied the claims about Rust comment and subsequent court filings, calling them false. Wow. Combs said that it wouldn't happen if I were Martha Stewart. Let's see, Diageo, which alter Frank. Oh, wow. They own Guinness, Smirnoff, Johnny Walker. Oh, yeah. He playing with the big boys. He playing with the big boys. Check out what... um. Let's check out a little bit of what Luke's talking about. And, um, after that, we're going to get into this segment about Dr. Huxtable. Yeah. All right. Let's I wonder go. where all Diddy friends at. All the people who made money off of Diddy. Where's all his friends? All the people who sat there eight off the man nobody is coming to his aid but I'm, I'm curious to ask y'all something right when the last time y'all seen any federal organization raid a house in the daytime in the broad daylight they normally come when the fans come they be like four o'clock in the morning when you sleep and shit. And then, don't they raid your house and they have a search warrant and they have something they want to lock you up? That's kind of interesting to me. 
you know, they all the guns and the tanks and shit for some cell phones. Garage. See, I keep all the documents, all the documents. You never know where you need them, especially the release forms. See, the difference is, I used to. Uh, let me tell. Let me let me just say this, right? If there was anybody hurt or anybody violated or anybody treated any type of way uh, or by, by anybody in any of them situations, you know, that shit go to court and it comes out. And if your ass did something wrong, then your ass need to go to, go to jail. But see, I was a smart dude. That's why when y'all see the freak Nick and all that, and y'all see all this footage, and 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 you'll probably see Galveston, and you'll see uh, Daytona Beach. I filmed everything. They tried to jam me up in South Carolina. The woman then went on stage and did some wild shit, and then all her friends started talking about she did some wild shit. Then she go to the law talking about, oh, Luke did this to me, and then I had a release form. The police call me up, say, yo, mind you, I never do nothing. I always stand to the side. Yo, still I have a lady that's filing a complaint. And I say, I got a release form of the individuals who signed the release to get on stage and dance with the girls. Uh, I'm a, here is her name on this list. Bam. Yeah. Matter of fact, and I got video. Y'all see the peep show where I was. Uh, interviewing Jay-Z and the girls were sitting there. At that same shoot, there was a guy that came in and made some comments about Diddy and Diddy and Jay-Z told him, call up Big and say, Big, man, this dude saying some wild shit. And I'm sitting there um, in amazement and uh, this dude saying some wild shit about Puff. And then I'm sitting there like, what the f is this dude talking about? Said he went to school with him. And uh, and I'm like in amazement too. I'm interviewing Buddy. I don't know why the producers had me interview this dude. And so, you know, the, the pop called me, say, man, 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 please don't air that shit. And uh, called up BT who owned the show and said, please don't air that shit. Uh, this this man lying. This man. And so uh, eventually we didn't air it. We didn't air it somewhere in a can in a vault because, you know, dude had a bone to pick, you know, and that and that's how it used to be. You know, when when we always looked out for each other, if somebody said some wild shit, or if somebody saw somebody doing some wild shit, then we would be like, yo, man, hey, man, don't y'all chill and shit like that. When you go and you get these billions and you see them put you up on a pedestal, that's, that's because they put you up on a pedestal. They made you the guy. They placed you on every network. They sold you to all y'all on here. They gave you 5 million followers. They put all this, they dressed you up like a fucking hoe on the street. They gave you the Bugattis. They gave you the mansions on two different coasts. They put you up on a pedestal because they need you. It's like some shit. When you got when you when you got your main girl, you dress her up and she look like this and look like that and do this and you march her into the, to the big room. I'm telling you. So when they put you on that pedestal, and then you start thinking it's about you, and you want to take over their shit, the people look back like this. Hold on, who the f they think he is? Oh, we'll show you better than we can tell you. Then they'll try to reason with you and they'll talk to your manager because your manager look like them. And they'll be like, hey man, tell, tell your man to chill out. You know, and then the manager come in and he trying to keep his job. Hey, hey guy, be, uh, calm down. And then you go walk around like it's all about you. You got all the, the cars and the mansions and the jets and all the yachts and all this and all the people running around you talking about yeah 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 and now you want to fight hey, now you want to bite the hand that feeds you don't your mama ever always tell you that your mama say never bite the hand that feeds you 
And so this is how the major corporations work when you try to come after them. Now you put a lawsuit in. Bam! Lawsuit. That shit, I'm suing their ass. I'm taking their company down. That shit. They taking my brand and my name and likeness and they making millions of dollars. I want out of this contract. And now, mind you, these people on the stock market, they stock go down 5%. That just cost them some billions. So they're looking at this motherfucker to the, to the shareholders. This motherfucker is affecting our stock. They got to hold on. You just f***ed up some billions of dollars. These are major corporations that are on the stock market that you can affect their stock and cost them in one in one day billions of dollars by having their stock drop because your sneakers, you telling people you don't want them selling your sneakers or you don't want them, sell, you they stealing money from you, ain't paying you off the liquor. Them people like, hold them. Oh, okay, get the lawsuit. Now, when you get the lawsuit, you got to go to the, the judge, state judge. They definitely own the state judge because they're going to buy the, the number one law firm who put the most money into the state judge, into the into the local judge campaign to make him the local judge. Big bank take little bank. It goes back to CeeLo. The federal judge, they're going to then find out who who these people company you want to talk all your cash money shit and you want to go after these people what ends up happening they start the smear campaign because they own they down with the media they got to smear you before you go into the courtroom of your peers they go, okay, you, we can't settle with this dude. We can't we have no voice of reason. He want to act crazy. Now we're going to go after you. Now we're going to call up our same senator. Hey, man, I need you to, man, go issue a search warrant, man. I need you to drag this mother. In the hood, that's what we call. I want you to drag his ass. I want you to have all kind of allegations. So by the time he come in this courtroom, he going to wish he didn't know. We're going to take every fucking dime you got. Cause we made you, you didn't make now. Um, Luke, I feel like Luke's gonna be great. Like he he said it himself. He would leave early because he's just not a part of the club, and that's why he's never been a part of the club. When we talk about biting the hand that feeds you, <clears throat> I want to take it here, and this just busts my head, y'all. This was October 29th of 1992. Dr. Huxtable tried buying NBC from GE back in 1992. So this thing that we um had going on in 2015, wow. Now, let's see, what can we find? Bill Cosby, NBC's biggest star of the 80s, is trying to buy the television network from its current owner, the General Electric Company. So you have this man that's acquired enough resources to get this network from a big corporation. Do you think they wanted that man to have all that influence? Leave it in the comments. Anyway, <clears throat> Norm Brokow, the chief executive of the William Morris Agency and Mr. Cosby's personal agent for 30 years, confirmed yesterday that he had discussed Mr. Cosby's intention to make an offer for NBC with Robert C. Wright, the network's president. That is crazy. Mr. Brokaw said he flew into New York last week expressly to meet with Mr. Wright. And I quote, I told him Bill is definitely interested in buying NBC. And Mr. Wright eventually said that NBC is not for sale. For more than two years, NBC has been a subject of continuing rumors that it's for sale. 
especially since the ratings have gone into a steep decline. Now let's fast forward to 2015. Dr. Huxtable. This is a Vanity Fair. It can't be done. He's not serious. So alleged experts greeted last fall's news that Bill Cosby was interested in buying NBC from General Electric again. Analysts on both coasts saw Cosby's quest to quizo oh, quizotic, quizotic, nice. I've never seen that word before. Anyway, an innocence tilting at windmills, peacock feathers blowing in the wind, maybe even a publicity stunt. Hell nah, he wanted that station. Bill Cosby kept on despite Jay Leno jokes and the continually, excuse me, continuing skepticism of those who may have their own plans for NBC. So I guess he was up with other people for it. Let's see, behind the scenes arrangements are proceeding for an offer in the $4 billion range. Come on, man. $4 billion for this network. And I read that I love you, to take it here, you guys. We've seen what happened to Bill. I'm not saying this, these things to say that it's this and not that. It could be both things, you guys. But it stuck out to me when that lawsuit thing came, the Cassie thing came. Now we're here to the point where they raided his home and it looked like something for a movie. You would have thought David Koresh was in that house. Do y'all research. Waco. That's what Diddy's house looked like, the Waco compound. Now, let's take it here to Jay-Z. This is why I feel like Jay-Z's next. Point blank, period. What did Jay-Z do and why did his... um? Toy Story cowboy toy wife have that sour milk look on her face. Like, what are you doing? Listen. When he went at them awards, people or whoever, the committee or whatever, that was the moment Beyonce knew he messed up. You know you messed up, right? That was that moment. Um, this is time. Let's see what time says. The 54 year old rapper took to the stage with his daughter, thanking the awards, namesake Dr. Dre, and somebody else. His speech then took a more serious tone as he appeared to, to address the Recording Academy directly and lightweight threatened him too. I'm just saying, we want you all to get it right. We love y'all. We love y'all. That was his, come on, Jay. I know you got hitters. Call me, man. That was that right there. Anyway, he says, we want you to get it right, or at least get it close to right. Now, close to right. What's close to right? How did they get it wrong? Because they didn't pick his unoriginal wife? Hmm, think about it. I don't want to embarrass this young lady, too late, but she has more Grammys than everyone that's ever won album of the, album of the year. So even by your own metrics, it doesn't work. That's why he's next, point blank, period. I'm gonna um, click back in some of this Uncle Luke stuff. Listen, y'all, pay attention. And what I want you guys to take away from what we view today is that for one, it's never good to bite the hand that feeds you. There are other ways to handle things. But when you're a character as Mr. Take That, Take That, I feel like you got to take the good, bad, and the ugly because you've dished out, dished out your fair, more than your fair share of bad and ugly. Hit the thumbs up. Let me know where you're tapping in from. If you have any more videos, send them over to my IG. Trap Nerds, it was one. Nerds has a Z at the end. I'll see you there. I'm out. Peace.